Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So if you can't tell from the title today, today is an exciting video. It is a manga haul and unboxing. And what makes this video even more exciting is that I don't know what's inside this parcel. So basically this is a collab video and me, Geeky Dreams and Kate Tins' manga, we are doing a collab. And if you haven't checked their videos out already, I'm gonna link them down below in the down bar and their channels. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed a long weekend of manga videos from us. And this is gonna be the last one of the bunch, which is so sad, I know, I know. But hopefully I can do more collabs in the future with other manga tubers. But um, yeah, this video is gonna be an exciting one. I have no idea what's in this parcel. So if you guys didn't know, our collab is basically where we had a manga budget of 50 pounds and we had to create a manga parcel for one another. And it has to be based on a theme, specifically a genre that we don't have a lot of in our collection. So mine will be Shonen and Seinen, same as Kiki Dreams. And for Kate Tins as manga, her is shoujo and jose as her collection is more shonen and isekai heavy which is awesome so before we get onto this video as always please give this video a like comment and subscribe you know the drill and click on the bell and also follow me on instagram at himika underscore zero zero but yeah i don't know if you noticed this little mic i have on here hopefully this will improve my sound quality in my videos i know you guys enjoy my content already but i just want to up the game a bit you know and just improve the quality so it's more enjoyable to watch but yeah i'm so excited to unbox this parcel and see what i got so let's get started so i have my box cut on hand and my kitchen scissors just in case this doesn't work out as some of you guys in the comment section has been coming for me and said it's time to use a box cut me no i'm just crap at using this like this doesn't work out sometimes and i just prefer using kitchen scissors and my hands just tearing the box but anyway i'm so excited to unbox this parcel like let's give it a shake oh Okay, I don't know what's inside. Of course, there's manga, but I feel like there's something else inside. But we shall see. But yeah, this parcel has been sitting on my table for a while now. As you guys know, I'm very busy and today's the only day that I can unbox it and show you guys. But um, yeah, let's see what's inside. So um, let's unbox this. So I'm just going to tip it this way and just cut the tape. Oh, okay. I'm using so much strength to cut it just doesn't work so I'm gonna use my kitchen scissors see now that works perfect I can cut through the cardboard yay we got the box open cool okay I don't know how I cut this cardboard out but let's just put this aside but let's open this and show you guys oh you didn't have to she got me sweeties oh so this is what's inside the parcel so i see a packet of haribos i love haribos i haven't had sweeties in so long like my household we don't really have snacks so oh thank you geeky dream thank you i'm just so happy to see a bag of sweets in this parcel but um yeah let me know down below which sweetie is your favorite from haribo i really like the cherry ones or the rings those are my favorite i'm gonna eat these after this video but yeah oh i should rent me a little card thanks look how cute it is oh my god I do apologise if my reactions are quite exaggerated, that's just how I am, I'm just very giddy, I like seeing cute things and it oh, just makes me happy, but um, yeah, oh look how cute this card, like this envelope is just cute and the sticker, oh that's adorable, oh my god, I'm gonna keep this like the whole envelope, so I'm gonna be careful in unopening this because I don't want to rip the sticker. I'm not too sure if I could read this letter on camera, but I'm gonna open it and see what's inside, but yeah, oh. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Your handwriting is so cute, Emma. I'm, I'm, I'm getting teary shit. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh, I can't. Let me read a bit of it and see if I can read it out loud. Okay, it looks fine. Okay, I'm going to read it with you guys. So, oh, the paper. I think it's Rilakkuma. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but in certain lighting, there's like a teddy bear print. Can you see? It's so cute okay anyway let me read this um hey tiffany how are you i hope you are well it won't be long until lockdown oh, i can't wait i can't why am i getting emotional i really oh, this lockdown has been an absolute struggle not gonna lie i really can't wait for it to be over but um yeah it won't be long until lockdown is over and we can manga shop until we drop yes 
I can't wait. I'm gonna bring a suitcase when um, I'm going to Forbidden Planet, 100%. And I'm gonna travel up north to take advantage of Free for Two and go to Traveling Man and go to Forbidden Planet and all the comic book stores that exist because I need to buy more manga and just shop till I drop and have a great time. But um, this, I don't know, like for me, I love receiving letters. Those are one of the biggest things that I love. Like for my birthday, I would rather someone give me a card or something. If they don't know what to get me, get me a card, I'm fine. I just love reading letters and cards, but um, yeah. First of all, I want to say thank you for collaborating with me. I absolutely love watching your videos and I always enjoy chatting with you same here lovely so here's your shonen or seinen theme box i'm not going to lie it was difficult to decide which series to choose yeah i get what you mean it is hard to find what series to get to be honest so i hope you like my pick some are from my wish list and others i enjoy myself demon slayer was going to be part of the box but i saw the viz announcements of the box set i know you were yes you know me so well <laughs> I, I think I posted um, the other day on my story um, with the Viz announcements of the box set. I can't wait for the box set as I've been waiting so patiently for them to announce it. And yeah, I'm, just, I'm so excited. Like a lot of you guys in the comment section asked me to pick up Demon Slayer, but I'm always like, I'm just waiting for the box set, guys. Like I'm gonna be that patient person, you know? But um, I'm glad my patience have paid off. But um, yeah. I know you would prefer getting that over the singles, so I switched out for Fire Force. Oh, so I guess there's going to be Fire Force in this um, box. I really hope you enjoy it. The anime was absolutely fantastic. I definitely re recommend it. Okay, I guess that will be another series that I need to watch next. There were so many more series that I love to have added, but man, so many were out of stock. Yeah, the struggles, the struggles of buying online. Also, you can't read manga without a snack, so I've sent some sweets to enjoy my reading. Thank you so much for the Haribo sweets. I absolutely love Haribos. I actually haven't had these for years, but um, yeah, I can't wait to gobble on those. But um, yeah, once again, thank you so much for collabing with me. This whole process has been really fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting emotional. Love to collab with you and Caitlin again sometime. I hope you enjoy my pics. I can't wait to watch your unboxing. Stay safe, Emma. Oh, sorry, I'm getting emotional. I absolutely love receiving letters. Like these things, I definitely will keep forever. And thank you so much, Emma, for putting your time to even write a letter to me, plus the mangas that you put together. And yeah, I'm so sorry if this video is quite choppy as I keep on getting emotional throughout the clips. And yeah, so this is what's inside the manga parcel. Sorry, let me just let my eyes dry. They're getting so like, you know when it's wet, like, oh, oh let's, let's hope my makeup is not ruined. Let's, let me check. But yeah, let me show um, everyone what I got. And oh, so we know there's gonna be Fire Force in this parcel. But um, oh, this is so nicely wrapped. It's all in bubble wrap, look at that. So I'm gonna just cut the tape so I can just, yeah, there we go. So I managed to make an opening with the bubble wrap, but it looks like she also bubble wrapped the volumes individually. And yeah, so let's get into all the manga. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And so, okay, so the first one I reached out and it looks like Kaguya Summer Love is War. You know me well. I've been wanting to get this series for a while now. And oh, I'm so excited. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry if this video is just me squealing over manga, but um, it is reality. But um, oh. so Geeky Dreams got me volume one of Kaguya Summer Love is War, and this is the spine and the back. And oh, I'm just so happy. Thank you so much. You literally know me so well. This has been on my wish list for a while now and I don't know if you guys ever thought this initially but before I knew what Kaguya Summer Lovers War was about I thought the cover was kind of scary that's why before I never thought of picking it up but after hearing the synopsis and everything I was intrigued so I'm gonna read the back for you guys and see if you guys are intrigued about the series as well so two geniuses two brains two hearts one battle who will confess their love first as leaders of their prestigious academy student council, Kaguya and Miki are the elite of the elite. Okay, they sound bougie, okay. But it's lonely at the top. Luckily for them, they've fallen in love. Oh, that's cute. 
There's just one problem. They both have too much pride to admit it. And so begins the daily scheming to get the object of their affection to confess their romantic feelings first. Love is war. You win by losing. Okay. That sounds very, very interesting. I'm so happy that you got volume one of Kaguya Summer Love is War for me, Emma. Like, I've been wanting to collect the series for a while now and... Uh, so happy to have volume one i'm definitely going to continue collecting this after lockdown ends so i can go to forbidden planet and pick up the rest of the volumes but yeah this is what it looks like and i'm gonna flick through some pages for you guys so oh there's some colored pages at the front can you see i believe this series does have an anime as well and it's currently very hyped at the moment i'm so intrigued how this series is going to go i believe there is a lot of volumes though for this series i think currently there's like 20 volumes out so yeah this is gonna break the bank for me 100 percent with collecting the series but i think i will enjoy the ride of reading this series and collecting it so i don't mind yeah but um yeah, I'm so happy that you got this for me, Geeky Dreams. Thank you so much for getting this for me. And yeah, that is volume one of Kaguya Summer Love is War. Let's see what she got me next. I love how you wrapped each individual volume in bubble wrap. Like, that is so thoughtful. I love nice packaging. I really appreciate it. Let's see what you got me next, Geeky Dreams. So, um, oh, so the next volume I got, it looks like volume one of Komi Can't Communicate. And yeah, let's unwrap this literally feels like a second christmas right now normally i don't get gifts anyway so it's nice to receive something that someone knows what i like if that makes sense so oh, it makes me so happy <laughs> okay let's see what this is so comey can't communicate volume one so this is what it looks like and the spine and looking at the back it looks so cute <laughs> she's blow drying her hair i love that so um, I'm not too familiar about this series. I know a lot of people do recommend this series to me, but I never thought of picking it up. So I guess this will be a chance for me to read it and give it a go. So I'm gonna read the blurb for you guys of Komi Can't Communicate Volume 1. Socially anxious high school student Shoko, Komi's greatest dream is to make some friends, but everyone at school mistakes her crippling social anxiety for cool reserve. I see, hmm. With the whole student body keeping its distance and Komi unable to utter a single word, friendship might be forever beyond her reach. Timid Tadano is a total wallflower. Okay, wallflower. Interesting. And that's just the way he likes it. But all that changes when he finds himself alone in the classroom the first day of high school with the legendary Komi. Okay. So I guess Komi is very well known in the school then. He quickly realises she isn't aloof, she's just super awkward, now he's made it his mission to help her on her quest to make 100 friends. The journey to 100 friends begin with a single conversation. Okay, this sounds like a very sweet slice of life series. Um, I don't know much about it actually, let me search it up on my phone. So going off my anime list, this is a shonen series and it's got comedy and school and this was published in 2016 and it's still ongoing so I wonder how many volumes there is out at the moment. But yeah, I'm intrigued to start this series and just give it a go because like I said, this was not on my radar, it's not something that I was planning to get at all. So it'd be interesting to see how it is and if I do like it, I will continue to collect this series. But yeah, thank you so much Geeky Dreams for getting me volume 1 of Komi Can't Communicate. I know a lot of people love this series. I'm also interested in how they tackle the social anxiety part as I feel like nowadays a lot of people have social anxiety, especially with what's going on right now. I'm not too sure when things get to back to normal but I can tell you, I don't think I can pull off a normal conversation right now with anyone um but uh, yeah i already struggled with that with work um it is what it is it is gonna be a work in progress so um i guess a lot of people can relate to this series and yeah i'm really intrigued how the series is gonna go and i think i might read this after this unboxing and just give it a go and yeah let's see what geeky dreams got me next so it looks like she got me <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, she got me Parasite and this series has been on my wish list for a while now and oh, you didn't have to. Thank you so much. I know this volume probably been expensive. This is like, I think the volume cost like £9.99 or something. So, oh, you didn't have to, Geeky Dreams. Thank you so much for um, picking the series up for me. Like, ah, I've been wanting to collect the series for a while now. So, I'm happy that I got this. 
so if you guys didn't know, Parasite has, oh, it feels so nice. Can you hear it guys? Like, it's matte. I love the feeling. Oh my God, this, this is beautiful. This is what volume one of Parasite looks like. This is a completed series. I believe this series actually came out in like the early 80s or 90s. So it is an old series, but it's so, so good. But um, yeah, so there are eight volumes in this series and it's complete. And that's the spine and the back. So this series also has an anime which I rewatched recently and I absolutely loved it. So if you guys haven't checked out the anime yet already, I recommend you to do so. After rewatching the anime, it really made me want to collect the series. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some pages. Oh, wait, oh, I've got to show you guys um, ca um Comey Can't Communicate. Inside of Comey Can't Communicate, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna just show you guys the art style and you can tell from the paneling it does look a lot different from normal manga I guess because this series is a comedy and yep so let me flick through some pages for you guys for Parasite and see the art style but yeah I'm so intrigued what the manga is going to be like like I said I only watched the anime I never read the manga before so um yeah I'm interested what my experience is going to be like I feel like when it comes to the series there are always going to be different experiences when it comes to reading it and watching it for example the promised Neverland, like Radiant was 10 10 100% Watching the anime, first season was amazing, okay? I can't lie, first season, top notch. But second season, that, that can go to the bin, okay? That can go to the trash. So um, yeah, I don't know what my experience is going to be like reading manga, but I feel like I'm definitely going to love it as since I love the anime a lot. And normally reading the manga is always better in my opinion. But yeah, this is what it looks like inside. And just how it looks like going from the art style I really like how it looks it looks really good for a series that came out in the late 80s to 90s so yeah I'm really excited to pick up the rest of these volumes thank you so much Emma for picking up this series for me and yeah oh I'm so happy I have this in my collection now oh it feels so good like I love the way it looks like I don't know, I thought this um, volume would be bigger, but actually it's not that big. It's actually like a similar size to a normal manga, but just thicker. Like for some reason I thought this will be the same size, like water koi or something, like the, like the height. But actually it's the same size of a normal manga, but just a bit thicker. So yeah, I'm so excited to read this now. I'm just, I'm just so happy that I have it in my collection. But I'm gonna recharge my camera right now. So this is two hours later and my camera is finally fully charged. And luckily today is a sunny day, so we still have a bit of brightness. So I'm not in the dark, but yeah. Oh, I was looking back at my footage. My hair, oh my God, it's so, so frizzy. I'm so sorry if you guys are disturbed by my hair but it is what it is. Anyway, on to the parcels. I'm so excited to see what I got. I don't know. So I opened three parcels already and um, you guys already saw I um, opened um, Kaguya-sama Love is War and then Komi Can't Communicate and Parasite and these three series I really can't wait to read. So oh, I'm excited to see what else is inside this parcel. So yeah, let's get inside. So let's see. So, ooh. <laughs> So Geeky Dreams got me volume 3 of Spy X Family. So um, I actually got this um, volume. If you can see at the back, you see that big parcel. So it is another manga box parcel that I was planning to unbox next week. But um, if you guys want my um, volume 3 of Spy X Family, I don't mind doing a giveaway with that. But um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is so nice. I love this series. If you guys haven't read Spy X Family yet, I really recommend you guys to do so. You can read this on the Shonen Jump app. But yeah, let me just unwrap this bubble wrap and talk more about um, Spy X Family. But yeah, this series is a great one. I feel like no matter how long you have read manga, whether you read manga for 30 years, 20 years or 10 years now, or you're new to manga, I really suggest you guys to read this series. It's so good, like the comedy aspect is lovely, this plot, everything. It is a very fun read. This is what volume 3 of Spike's Family looks like. And the front cover is Yor, who is the assassin and Twilight's fake wife. So I love this um, cover, like color, like this is one of my favorite colors to be honest. And then the spine, if you can see it, is it up, up, upside down in the back. So I'm gonna flick through some pages for you guys so you can see the artwork and that. 
but yeah oh let me just move this bubble wrap so it's not in your way um so hopefully my camera is focusing definitely a very fun series to read my favorite character in this series is Anya who is the adopted girl in the series and she is so funny like the way the artist drew her <sighs> is jokes let me insert an image of her right here so you guys can see but yeah that is Spy X Family volume 3 thank you so much so the next series that I've got is a fire force so Fire Force, I am not familiar with this series at all other than it's a shonen. So let's search up this series together and see what it's about. This series is a shonen, sci-fi and action. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm guessing it's about firefighters, but I know Geeky Dreams love this series as I've seen her talk about it a few times in her videos. But yeah, let's open this. I love how she wrapped this. So nicely wrapped. So this is a volume one of um, Fire Force and let's read the blurb together. So the city of Tokyo is plagued by a deadly phenomenon, spontaneous human combustion. Luckily a special team is there to quench the inferno, the Fire Force. The fire soldiers at Special Fire Cathedral 8 are about to get a unique addition. Enter Shinra, a boy who possesses the power to run at the speed of a rocket, leaving behind the famous devil footprints and destroying his shoes in the process. Can Shinra and his colleagues discover the source of this strange epidemic before the city burns to ashes? Okay, interesting. I don't know what the artwork is like, so I'm going to um, flick through it with you guys so we can see together. As from the front, I don't know, the front, like, guy looks like he's, he looks similar to the guy from Blood Lad. I don't know if you guys know what Blood Lad is, but it's another shonen series. But yeah, he kind of reminds me of that. Ooh, I'm intrigued. I heard lots of good things about Fire Force, to be honest. So, um, yeah, thank you for picking this up for me. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Okay. It's interesting, the panels look a bit different to what I'm used to, so... I'm quite intrigued on how this series is going to go but yeah so that is volume one of fire force so far emma you have picked up some amazing series that i really can't wait to read that some of them weren't even on my radar so i'm really intrigued how these series are gonna go and then next i feel like okay so there's two more series left in the parcel and that is <laughs> sorry i love clicking my fingers yeah boy guess what it is golden kamoi oh my god okay this series i was gonna pick up um the first time i was in um forbidden planet but then i was a bit hesitant when i was like going through the pages as there was a bit of gore and i'm not a person that likes to read like full on gut score everything like that however the series wasn't about just war and like that and there's more to it so um i'm so happy that kiki picked up this for me as i was gonna pick this up next and yeah let's just um get this open let me where is my where has my scissors gone okay so oh look at that that looks oh this is what volume one looks like for golden kamoi and if you guys haven't seen my manga wish list of 2021 this was in my wish list and oh boy i've been wanting to have this series ever since i left forbidden planet in like when was it like december or november like the last time i've been um in store to shop for manga physically and i regretted not picking this up so i'm so glad emma picked this up for me and i'm so gassed to read it as well i really want to try that anime as well as i know that's quite popular however you know me i like to read the manga first before starting that anime as a lot of the times i always ruin it for myself especially with something's wrong with us that one i completely ruined it for myself for watching the whole um japanese drama that's why I'm not going to watch the Japanese drama of Perfect World as well, as I don't want to spoil Perfect World for myself. But yeah, Golden Kamoi, I am definitely going to pick up the rest of this series. I think this one's a very ongoing series. Like there's currently like 20 volumes out at the moment. For sure, when I do get the chance to pick up the rest of this series volumes, my wallet is going to run dry. But um, I've absolutely 
excited and I'm super invested in the series. The thing is, I haven't even read much of it. I've only read the first chapter and I'm like sold. But um, yeah, I can't wait to read this after this haul as well. Like, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to read the blurb for you guys and see if you guys are intrigued about the series just like I am, whether you want to pick up physically or digitally. But yeah, so in the early 20th century, Russo-Japanese war veteran Saichi Immortal Sugimoto scratches out a meagre existence during the post-war gold rush on the wild frontier of Hokkaido. When he stumbles across a map to a fortune in hidden Ainu gold, he sets off on a treacherous quest to find it. But Sugimoto is not the only interested party, and everyone who knows about the gold will kill to possess it. Faced with the harsh conditions of the northern wilderness, ruthless criminals and rogue Japanese soldiers, Sugimoto will need all his skills and luck and the help of an Ainu girl named Aspira to survive. So, mad, mad, mad. Sounds crazy, it's really fun series to be honest. I read the first chapter and I was sold right there, so I feel like you guys will feel the same. But yeah, let's go through some pages. And bear in mind, there are gonna be some like guts and that stuff in the first few pages. So just letting you know before I turn the pages, this series is super interesting. I didn't think it will be this good to be honest, but like I said, I only read the first chapter and I'm going off by that. So just take my opinion with a grain of salt okay so yeah that is um golden kamoi and thank you so much geeky dreams for getting this for me like oh, i'm so happy but yeah the last volume in this box wow literally geeky dreams you got me so many great series i i can't believe it to be honest wow i feel like it's christmas so let's see what this is. It looks like it's Witch Hat. Oh yeah, it is Witch Hat Altelia. Altelia. I can't pronounce that name, sorry. So let's open this up. And oh, boy, this was on my wish list. Oh, sorry, I'm just feeling this volume and it feels so nice. Let me just like, can you hear that guys? It's matte. I do love it when the covers are matte. I feel like gloss, everything's gloss nowadays and matte just makes it seem more like premium. I don't know, that's just the feel of it feels nice in the hands. Like this feels expensive, I don't know. Let's see what the cost is. So USA is $12.99, Canada $16.99. So I guess this one would be like £10.99 and it is by, oh yeah, it's by Kodansha. That's why it's matte, it makes sense. All of my Kodansha series are matte, like majority of them like perfect world and Botokoi that is matte but anyway let me show you what this looks like oh it feels so nice in the hands and I'm just looking at the front cover and the back it looks very very pretty like the art style is mm, just from the looks of it so this is volume one and let me show you the front the spine and the back and let's go on my anime list and see what the series is about. All I remember saying is that it's like a mixture between like Harry Potter and Studio Ghibli. I think that's what I said before, but I, f I literally forgot. My memory is like a fish. Like I have a three second memory, which is so bad. From my anime list, this is a fantasy and magic series and it's also a seinen and yeah okay i am really excited to read this i also want to pick up um another series by the same author i forgot what it's called i think it's like any yao dao yella or something like that i want to pick that series up as well because um i've heard a lot of good things about it but yeah let's flick through some pages i've heard the art style is amazing so let's go through it together oh this actually feels quite thin when i open it that's interesting see oh some colored pages nice nice we do love a colored page and yeah i can't see from a viewfinder of the image because my eyesight is really bad i don't know if you can see from the background where i'm like squinting when i'm trying to see what the art style looks like so i'm gonna show myself <sighs> yes that's this is this is a bit of me vibe you know oh wow the art is actually stunning i'm trying to think of um a series like this that have a similar art style but i can't i can't put my finger on a series but it does remind me of something but oh that's beautiful wow let's flick through some more pages 
from the looks of it I really like the artwork and I feel like I will collect this series because of the artwork I'm not too sure about the plot as I haven't read it yet but I have heard that this series is phenomenal not just because of the artwork but the plot is absolutely beautiful something like that but anyway let's go with the blurb so a touch of magic meet young Coco curious and bright and desperate to learn how magic's wrought but witches keep their secrets hidden tight and witches Coco knows are born not taught then one day Coco spies upon a witch and he prepares the charms for which he yearns and sees that like her skill with Fred and Stitch the truth is magic's something she can learn now with this knowledge does this sound like a poem or something I don't know why am I reading it so funny but anyway Coco starts to try to teach herself the witch's way with charms and yet her aspiration goes awry. As Coco's magic causes grievous harm to set things right, young Coco leaves her home and so begins to tell within this tome. Okay, yes, that sounded very rhymey and um, me, I'm not a fan of reading rhyme because you heard the struggles that I was trying to read the blurb. But anyway... I hope that sounds intriguing to be honest I don't know if that did me reading the blurb out probably butchered the series but yeah I'm super excited to read this oh I noticed from the back it says this the magical adventure that took Japan by storm is finally here from acclaimed DC and Marvel cover artist Kamome Shirahama so um okay that's interesting so I guess the uh, manka done some art for dc and marvel that is awesome but um yeah i'm really excited to read this as well i feel like i'm saying that for all the volumes that um, emma picked up for me I'm just putting all of the manga together and i absolutely love how white these spines are like i really appreciate a nice good white spine but yeah so this is what it looks like together in my hands if i can there we go and I put the two taller volumes together which is Golden Kamoi and Witch Hat Atelier and the rest together as the rest are normal size but yeah this looks so awesome in my hands like wow yes I'm so happy I have all this in my collection now and thank you Emma for giving me a head start with collecting some of these series and yeah I'll let you guys know how these series go as well definitely let you guys know in a wrap up or something in the future so I think we reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy this manga haul and unboxing. I definitely had a great time like unboxing all these series and finding out what Kiki Dreams got for me. Like I can't believe I have all these series in my collection now. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. But I'm so thankful to have done this collab with Kiki Dreams and Kate Tins's manga. Like them two are so lovely in the manga community. Like definitely check their channels out if you haven't already. I'll link down all our collab videos down below in the description bar. And I hope you guys enjoyed this long weekend of manga videos from us and yeah hopefully we can do something like this in the future again soon and as always please give this video a like comment and subscribe and i just want to say a big thank you to all of you for always supporting this channel like it means a lot to continue to enjoy this channel's content and just basically have a great time being on this channel because this is what this channel is for to be honest for you guys to have a great time have some manga recommendation make some new friends and that stuff and just enjoy yourself but anyway stay tuned for my next week's video to be honest march is a fun month i'm gonna have lots of fun videos coming your way so definitely stay tuned every week on monday 8 30 p.m sharp but yeah if you can join my premieres then um that'll be awesome but there will be more manga hauls in the future and i hope you guys are looking forward to it but yeah stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you guys next week bye